2,000 years ago, the bold and industrious people of Eurasia explored and opened up the Silk Road. In the 21st century, it is a new era of peace, development, cooperation, and mutual benefit. With harmony and diversity, openness and inclusiveness, mutual learning and understanding, the Silk Road has been passed down from generation to generation. It is a historic heritage shared by all civilizations around the world. And this is the Belt and Road. set up its first economic and development zone in Dalian. Since then, more than 200 zones were established in suburb areas of big cities throughout China. The economic and development zones are a new model of urban management that give rise to a new area in the city, green industry. The zones provide platforms for company, manpower, policies and fund. It also creates jobs and revenues for local countries and local cities. It's among the successes of China's reform and opening up. In 2016, 56 economic and trade cooperation zones were established with 20 other countries around the world, with an investment of $18.5 billion from China. The China Belarus Industry Park, whose prototype was the Suzhou Industrial Park, will become a new international city and a high-end industrial hub. In North Africa, China and Egypt built the Suez Economic and Trade Cooperation Zone. China Oman Industrial Park is under construction. In Southeast Asia, China Rion Industry Park in Southeast Thailand has attracted $2.5 billion and created 20,000 jobs for local people. Ran by China and Cambodia, Xi'anuk Special Economic Zone will become Cambodia's Shenzhen, one of the most successful cities of reform and opening up. China and Malaysia Qingzhou Industrial Park and Malaysia Kuantan Industrial Park are two parks connecting industry parks to port. Xinjiang, which faces Central Asia and West Asia, is a central area to build the Silk Road Economic Zone. Kashgar and Hogos will become two special economic zones in South and North Xinjiang. The zones are not limited to inland, but also coastal areas. Quanzhou, Fujian, an important starting point of the Asian Maritime Silk Road, is working on building a railway system and port logistics space. These projects will create an international hub port for the 21st century maritime Silk Road. And in the Hangzhou cross-border e-commerce industrial park, companies can get clearance and tax rebates, thus creating the model of direct import. Pingtan, Shenzhen and Zhuhai are windows for integration development between mainland and Hong Kong, Macau and Taiwan. Cooperation zones between Xinjiang and Central Asia, between Yunnan and South Asia, between Guangxi and Southeast Asia, from poor trade to the pilot free trade zone, from inland to the sea. A new opening up pattern involving both inland and overseas has gradually become reality and generating regional production networks around China.